said, quote, I watched her struggle. And as I got... Great story, Allie. Thanks. You look at each of these teams' rosters. Lots of guys who have spent tons of time in the league, Brent. And these guys know each other so well, B.A., whether it's this team or playing on other teams. They've seen these faces. They recognize the moves. Uh, we'll see tonight who can outthink the other. All right, now let's check out the starters for the Miami Heat. On the wing, it'll be Hero and Butler. Bam Adebayo is out there with Caleb Martin. And it's Lowry in a point guard. And for the Bucks, Giannis and Lopez are the bigs. Then it's Wesley Matthews. Then there's Drew Holiday. And it's lights out in at the two-guard spot. Now here's Lowry. Anadokounmpo grabs the board. Holiday against Lowry. Pass to Matthews. Six on the shot clock. 4-3. Lights out. That's good. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Hero outside. And here's Lowry. Butler passes to Lowry. The teardrop. Anadokounmpo with the block. Into the lane. And Antetokounmpo with the stuff. And that stride that you see from Giannis is just so effective out there getting around defenders. Well, Brent, for this Milwaukee organization, how big was keeping Giannis? Well, B.A., could you just give me another synonym for massive? I'll take all of them. Because obviously, it is all about Giannis. And the title in 2021 helped big time to keep him in Milwaukee, but imagine if they lost him and went back to square one. You just don't replace guys who are this special. And a second look at that rejection, taking no prisoners on defense there. I mean, letting them know up front that he's on the hunt tonight and eager to knock away shots. I love it. And out of bounds, Milwaukee will have it. Unforced turnovers. They'll drive your coach insane. First quarter and about a minute and a half in. Outside Holiday. Again, Milwaukee! Nice to see Drew Holiday just square up for that jump shot. Love to see him taking that one. Butler passes to Hero. Here's out of bio. Outside Butler. Martin with the ball, and Lopez picks him up, and the foul on Brooke Lopez. That's his first foul. About two minutes gone by in the first quarter. To stop the run, Hero with the bucket. Hero can beat his opponents from all over the floor. He can get that shot off so quick. The three is up. Lights out. That's good. He has six. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. Yeah, right now, I don't see any let up. I think he's going to just keep putting his foot on that gas pedal tonight. Now here's Lowry from the arc. Here's Adebayo. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. Adebayo at 6'9", definitely plays bigger than his size. He's got the potential to have some of those nights where he hauls down 20 boards. Ibaka, he's checked in for the Bucks. Well, an all-star appearance for Bam Adebayo in 2020. Grant, you think he can get back there? No doubt. I mean, I think the bigger issue is we've seen his numbers taper off just in the postseason. Can he reverse that and bring his best when it matters most? And already Giannis has a regular season MVP, a finals MVP, plus a defensive player of the year award, winning all three trophies by the age of 26. Excellent. For Ana de Kupo, you can also throw in an all-star MVP. Brent, that puts him in elite company. Well, thanks, B.A. I did forget that one, and that's a major one, too. But the Greek freak, just the second player ever to win those four awards. The first, of course, MJ. That just tells you Giannis is already an all-time great. Time called here. Miami decides to talk it over. Yeah. 
Here's out of bio. Pass to Lowry. And here's Butler. Let's a three fly. It's rebounded by Ibaka. Here's Matthews. Butler covering. Now Ibaka. Knocks it loose. Clock at six. Fires high post. Adebayo with the rejection. And Bam aptly describes Adebayo's defensive impact. He packs a punch in there. Pass to Hero. Unloads. Rebound, Milwaukee. His touch from mid-range, that's almost always good. That won't shake his confidence. Lights out. That's good. Number six. The Heat have gone two for seven. A sluggish start. Out of the Kumpo with the block. When you get down on the block, Giannis is going to use that length defensively and get his hands all over any shot attempt. Pass the lights out. Martin against Tana de Kumpo. Now here's Ibaka. Gets his second attempt to go. Now he's one for two. Well, Ibaka really isn't affected too much by that defender seeing over the top. Think about well-constructed teams and themes that go with that. The Miami Heat certainly leap to mind. Their front office has just done a great job of assembling a deep roster that fits their mentality. Boy, I like their energy coming in. <laughs> Terrific execution so far. Well, if there were four or five boxes to check in terms of the game plan tonight, they might have checked six. I mean, they're doing everything out there. Struce's shot is off. Well, you would know the depth of the Miami bench is certainly felt in the strength of their second unit. Yeah, when the starters sit down, Miami doesn't lose much. There's a tremendous combination of skill and playability that they lean on throughout the course of the regular season. And the bench certainly makes big contributions with their minutes. Miami has gone 0 for 3 from downtown. Outside Struce. Pass to Robinson. Here's Butler. Here's Vincent. He's covered by Holiday. Steps back and fires. Can't get it to drop. Now the Bucks take it the other way. Here's Lights Out. Nine points in the game. Knocks down the triple. They've really built this lead on the back of their perimeter game. Well, a lot of importance placed on outside shooting. And tonight you can see why after that kind of quarter exploding from the perimeter. Pass to Vincent. Back to Butler. Outside Struess. And he's going for the oop here. And the Bucks pushing it up now. Now here's Butler. Again, the heat misses. It could go. The shot comes out. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks with an impressive 16-point lead heading into the break. Defense is setting the tone. More NBA on 2K Sports right after this. just tuning in we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard but plenty of time left for a comeback let's get a quick check of the scoring breakdown here for milwaukee well they found a groove and it's from distance so knocking them down from the three-point land never hurts so much good energy and flow tonight and that has really come out a great ball movement guys have been open and as soon as they are they get the ball setting the floor for the heat the duo inside butler and out of bio Gabe Vincent out there with Max Truce. And it's Robinson in a small forward. Here's Vincent. Well, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Outside Holiday. 
Pass to Lopez. And it's Milwaukee scoring again. You know, Grant, sometimes with certain flagrant fouls, you'll hear people say it was a dirty play, but not a dirty player. But when does it become both? Well, we all understand, B.A., dirty plays aren't good for the game. But sometimes a flagrant foul will happen. A lot of times, though, you have to factor in a pattern of behavior. I really believe players who have a history of being called for a lot of flagrant fouls plays a big role in how it's perceived. So it's Miami now. The Bucks getting their last shot to go. It's stolen by Holiday. Ooh, he's looking comfortable now. Three for three. They've been very well-rounded and extremely focused. Coaching staff probably most proud of the effort of this team on both ends of the floor here tonight. Time called here. The Heat decide to talk it over. And the reliability of what Drew Holiday brings to the hardwood. It's about that menacing defense night after night with great hands and great instinct. A different look for Miami. Martin, he's checked in for Robinson. And it's Lowry in for Vincent. Here's Butler. On to Kumpo with the block. Pass to Holiday. Adebayo grabs the board. Adebayo's got four rebounds now. Well, Brent, after years of being an elite defender, Holiday is finally getting the recognition he deserves. And the best part of guys like this, B.A., is that ask other guards around the league what it's like to introduce your offensive game to a guy like Drew Holiday. They will tell you he's one of the best perimeter defenders that you're going to find. Here's Holiday. The Heat making their last shot. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Here's Lights Out. Holiday with the ball. Five to shoot. Puts one up from 19. Rebound by the Heat. Adebayo's got five rebounds in the game. Struess up top. Here's Martin. Giannis with the rebound. Adetokounmpo has got five rebounds in the game. Outside Holiday. To the middle. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. And Giannis adding muscle to his frame for these types of situations. He'll keep getting bigger and stronger, but willing to take the hit. Got to give a ton of credit to the Bucks front office beyond trading for Holiday and, of course, re-signing Giannis. You love how they filled in with those guys around that star power. Lowry finds out a bio. Pass to Struess. The rebound by Matthews. Here's Milwaukee. They've got a 12-2 run in progress. Here's Lights Out. Covered by Struess. Now Holiday. Six points for him. Here's Ana de Kumpo. And it's good. Off the back of the rim and in. Ana de Kumpo has got five points now this quarter. The Heat have gotten only one of four shots to go in. Well, Brent, seems like every year the Bucks have to replace a key rotation player. Yeah, and tricky because they don't have the financial wherewithal to spend a ton of money with the contracts that have been given out. So it's about the right fit, the right personnel, and I think front office and coaching staff do a great job of identifying who those players are. Now here's Ana de Kumpo. Ten points for him. Well, a careless foul. That'll send him to the line for three free throws. You know, not the smartest play a defender can make there. And he drops the first. Deadman's checked in for Miami. Tyler Hero comes in for Struess. Good on the second one. Now, guys, when you think about this Miami Heat team, you hear a lot of talk about their ability to score. But how about the way they play on both ends of the floor? Lowry, the pass to Butler. Back to Lowry. Outside Butler. Hero for three. Milwaukee with the rebound. Anacupo's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Defensively, this Heat team was top three in points allowed per game and top five in defensive efficiency last year. You know, B.A., that's something that surely isn't talked about enough. And when they're not having their best shooting night, they'll suffocate you on the defensive end. 
Now here's Hero. Pass to Lowry. Over on the Kumpo. And rejected. Holiday's defense. He's such a pest down there. Got great length, great feet, and that's a nice block. Out of bounds. It'll be Heat Ball. Norris checked in for the Bucks. Jordan Mora. We've got 113 left in the first half. Hero outside. Back to Butler. Holiday against Lowry. Butler with the ball. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Here's Deadman. And that one's long. The other team just looks more in sync and is riding the momentum. Well, the other team is scorching hot, and they come down on this end and can't find a way to get the embers going. Now here's Hero. Pass to Lowry. And here's Martin. Looking to end the drought. And the foul is called. He missed it, Number so six. he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Man, good whistle there. And he knocks down the first one. And the Heat with some changes. Robinson comes in for Butler. And Vincent is subbed in for Lowry. Milwaukee's gone two of four from the perimeter in the second so far. Three seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's lights out. And they'll get another chance. Out of the Kumpo. That's good. And Giannis just playing right now with a very highly revved motor. Now here's Hero. He's closely guarded. From 11 feet away, that shot missing. And through the first half, a pretty lopsided. With the score, your box. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sport. It was a fast pace for Milwaukee at the outset. They did it just the way it was drawn up in the locker room, starting out on a 10-2 run. They came out swinging in the first and ended the quarter ahead by 16 points. Then in quarter number two, it was all hands on deck, and what a show it was. Quality execution, good efficiency, some tremendous defensive play helped them take a decisive advantage and they're running away with this one. Kenny, your thoughts on the Bucks' first half? I like what they're doing offensively. Looking at their field goal percentage, they're moving the ball, getting great looks, and of course, they're knocking out. And that should do it. Wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. And the Bucks with the possession here. Giannis and Lopez are the bigs. Then there's Drew Holiday. Then it's Wesley Matthews. And it's lights out in a shooting guard. And that's the group for Mike Budenholzer as we begin the second half. To the paint. Here's Butler. And he lays it up and in. Assisted by Butler's gotten his first bucket of the night. That is a tough two right there from Butler. Really his calling card. Rugged play and 100% effort. Here's lights out. Out of bounds. It'll be heat ball. That's, that's tough because that one's preventable. The defense has nothing to do at all with that turnover. A remarkable defensive play. The replay showing once again the tenacity on that end. Yeah, just some terrific effort there. And you know the whole team will get an energy boost off a block like that one. Now here's Butler. Guarded closely. It's deflected! Hero against Lopez. Pass to Holiday. Down low. Just five to shoot. And he hits it and gets hacked. A three-point chance here if he can convert. Well, that screen wasn't quite as effective as it could be. However, they find a way to get it done. Credit the shooter for overcoming that aggressive defense.
And the Heat shooting a tough 22% from the field so far. Lowry outside. Pass to Martin. Outside Butler. Milwaukee with the rebound. Matthews got his fourth rebound in this one. And Grant, no team better than Miami at developing undrafted prospects. I mean, for key roles, too. You look at last year's playoffs. Struess, Martin, Vincent, Robinson. It's allowed Miami to stay on top in a salary cap-driven league. Good, smart, patient play by Jimmy Butler that time. You leave someone that wide open, and he's going to find him. Here's Hero. Oh! And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. And the Heat making a change here. Struess has checked in. All right, Brent, how about what Tyler Hero brings to the table? Well, Tyler is such a huge part of why the Heat had so much success last season coming off the bench with unbelievable consistency. And he shot the three as good as ever, raised that scoring average up. This guy is not an all-star yet, but he's on the fringe, B.A. Pass to Lopez. Now on to Kumpo. And they double up on it to Kumpo. And here's Lopez from the arc. And it's Miami with a rebound. Man, that's his shot. <laughs> Maybe he was too wide open. Right side, Butler. And it's going to be a three-second call. You have to limit mistakes. They're so tough to overcome. Well, not making things easier on themselves right now, that's for sure. Here's Matthews, covered by Struess. Lights out. That shot makes him 7 for 14. He's been good tonight. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. Yeah, he's the guy that you want to go to right now trying to put this one away. Outside Struess. Pass to Hero. Let's it go. Gets a very good look and converts. Hero's got eight. Well, the catch and shoot is where Tyler Hero excels. Outside Holiday. Here's Matthews. Five points in the game. Here's Lights Out. And down it goes. Jam that one home. The PA, when he gets the rim in his sights, it's tough to stop. So aggressive and a determined finisher. Nice. Lowry, the pass to Struess. And there's the lob. And stolen by Anadokounmpo. The floater. Matthews misses. Everything right except the finish. Have to keep focus all the way through the play. Milwaukee has gotten 6 of 13 shots to go from outside the arc. Back to Holiday. Over Hero. And the basket by Holiday. Give him eight. You have to admire the fact that Holiday never plays outside of himself, at least not there. That shot was well within the offensive game plan. He rises up and sinks it. Back to Hero. Pass to Struess. Butler against Sonny Kumpo. Here's Adebayo. And again, the Heat missing. You won't see him miss that one too many times. Yeah, that happens. Important thing is for players, just don't beat yourself up and make a miss like that cost you another play. Here's Lights Out. He's got 25. Knocks down the long chain. You want to run your offense through him. A reliable scoring option. The Heat have gone four of eight in the third. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Butler finds Lowry. Back to Butler. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. Well, Butler's a great competitor, and he's playing with some fire right now. A different look for Milwaukee. Ibaka, he's checked in for Ana Kumpo. Nora comes in for Matthews. And it's Carter in for Holiday. Lights out, no good. The Heat have gone five for nine from the floor in the third quarter. Robinson passes to Butler. 
good on the bucket. Butler's got his third basket on the night right there. Just a great show of Butler's upper body strength right there as he plays through the contact. Oh, wasted no time on that one. A tough matchup for the smaller defender there. Just shot right over the top without thinking twice. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Pass to Deadman. Outside Struess. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. Shooting for Miami. And the free throw, no good. From deep three-point range, lights out, no good. It's never easy from that distance, but we see him drill those and shoot around all the time. Oh, no, I know he can make it, but th that's warm-up, so maybe just a step too far. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks holding a massive 34-point lead to end the quarter. Their efficiency has been off the charts. They're running their sets well with patience and purpose. We'll be right back after this word. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist to the game. And from the two-guard spot, an unselfish play like this sets a fantastic tone. Even though the position is called shooting guard, passing part of your responsibilities in today's game. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same for the first three quarters. Setting the floor for Miami. We've got Gabe Vincent. He's out there with Duncan Robinson. And it's Haslam in at the four. Nails it from beyond the arc. Vincent's got his first three points of the game. He's going to punish you if you leave him open. He's more than willing to take the open three when he's got it. You know, altered shots don't show up on the official stat sheet. But as we saw there, he does a great job of doing that as well as collecting the rebound. Puts up the eight-footer. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for Milwaukee. I mean, they've played some beautiful basketball all game. The passing has been impressive, and it's opened up things with their ball movement. And there's another thing going on right now for them that has to get their confidence up, and that's the three ball. I mean, it's been falling for them. And they're locked in, and with that outside shot going, that's a big difference maker. And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. So he gets them both. Heat shooting around 35% from the field so far. Pass to Jovic. Outside Robinson. Jacks up a three. Sinks it from distance. And uh, Duncan Robinson, he will do that. The Bucks shooting has been great this game. 58%. Carter finds Portis. Here's Bochamp. Back to Portis. Here's Nora. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Second team foul. At the line for the box. That free throw misses. Taking two shots. And he sinks the second. Here's Vincent. We've gone about a minute and a half into this fourth quarter. Pass to Jovic. And here's Robinson. Here's Vincent. Tries it from the top of the key. And Bochamp pulls it down. A wasted trip down the floor. That's not a good shot at all. Yeah, see the coach? He's got that frown on his face. I think we know why. Not a high percentage look. Here's Mama Kelishvili. Six to shoot. The Bucs need to get up a shot here. And it's good. Two points. Okay. Now they're playing working to perfection there if that was their plan. And if it wasn't, maybe that should be their plan. Outside Robinson. Knocked away. Pass to Deadman. Here's Vincent. Oh, 
It's not going to go for him. And here are the Bucks now. Now here's Carter. If you're just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. Inside. Here's Portis. With the seven-footer. And he can't jam it through. Miami has gone two of two from outside so far in the fourth. Here's Vincent. And it goes. As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. The Bucks making a switch here. Ananakumpo's checked in. The Bucks have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Pass to Nora. Here's Bochamp. Ana de Kumpo outside. Shot clock at five. Heat foul. Jumping. Third personal foul. Third team foul. The first free throw is good. Ibaka, he's checked in for Portis. He does not get the second one. The Heat have gone three of five since this fourth quarter started. And he was camped in the lane there. He gets a three-second call. You have to limit mistakes. They're so tough to overcome. Well, not making things easier on themselves right now, that's for sure. Outside Carter. Pass to Ibaka. To the inside. On to Kumpo. Perfect pass to set up the lay-in. Like a matador. Ole! There was no defense. That has to be one of the easier shots I've seen tonight. Yeah, feels like Christmas right now. Just gift wrapping points. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Here's Jovic. <laughs> And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. First personal. <laughs> no debate there. He, he got hammered. That free throw, no good. Green's checked in for the Bucks. Jovic taking two shots. So neither attempt will fall that time for him. For Milwaukee, they've gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Outside Carter. Let's go with a three. Gets the three ball to go. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Here's Haslam. That's Ibaka defending. Inside. A nice shot by Haslam. And let's face it, this one was never really in question. They came out with purpose and just overwhelmed the opposition. A great win for the Bucks. And the disparity in the talent was obvious by the end. Sometimes you just don't have enough ammunition to compete. Yeah, B.A., just a total beatdown. And the next time these teams meet, <laughs> I can't imagine it'll be any different. And as it was happening, as it was building, you knew this was a monster game for Lights Out. The scoring effort from him, unreal. Carrying this team, I mean, he was amazing tonight. On to Kumpo, left side. And the box hit again from deep. Finishing the game strong. This is how you shut the door on any hopes of a comeback. Yeah, definitely putting a stamp on this one. A very, very decisive victory for the club tonight. Here's Highsmith. Pass to Robinson. Here's Jovic. Buries it down low. It's nice they found their rhythm here, but the clock is just not their friend. Yeah, it's tough to mount a comeback like this and then fall oh so short. I'm sure that's weighing on them just a little bit. That was another look at our Mobile One drive of the game just a moment ago. Yeah, taking the onus on himself to make something happen. Got it into the teeth of the defense and made them pay. Green finds Ibaka. To the middle. Here's Carter. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. You can feel the excitement in this arena. These guys have done one heck of a job. A huge motivation. Always great for a young team, but 
Veteran players also appreciate when fans come with that kind of energy and get into the spirit of the game. And so it's Milwaukee easily grabbing this one. They didn't have too many problems tonight. They didn't. Just a tremendous team effort. Once they had that big lead, they were not going to let the visitors back into the game. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? 